Welcome to another episode from How to Webmaster. My name is Leon, and today let's discuss about the difference between an add on domain and your domain name. In your hosting account, you will have a primary domain name for your hosting account. So, in this example here, articlespinnerreviews.com, that's my primary domain for this hosting account. And if you scroll down on your sidebar when you log into your cPanel, you will notice that there is add-on domains here, right here, and it will give you a number. So for this account, I'm using zero out of five add-on domains. So what exactly is add-on domains? When you first buy web hosting, in this example here, we have HostGator, shared web hosting plans, and they have several plans here and in this plan the hatchling plan it says single domain so this means that you can host one domain name for this plan and for this plan right here the baby plan it says unlimited domains this means you can host unlimited domains or unlimited websites with this plan by using add-on domains so that's what it means when you buy web hosting and it gives you unlimited domains or a lot more domains than single domain that's what it means so that now with your main account here you can have unlimited websites or however the plan that you purchase with so for this account we can have a maximum of five add-on domains and to add on a domain go to where it says domains right here and click on add on domains now here you enter in a new domain name okay in this example I've entered in my add on domain.com and to add on a domain you will first need to actually register the domain in order to make it active and working so you would buy the domain name at a domain registration company like GoDaddy, Namecheap, or wherever you want to buy. And then you would add it on just like this. And when you enter in your domain here, it will also create a subdomain and a document root folder for you already. And you can also check this box to create an FTP account, but you don't need to. You can use your main cPanel account, FTP, uh, your username and password it will work for this add-on domain as well so let's go ahead and create this add-on domain okay so our add-on domain is created so in your file manager if you scroll down you can see my add-on domain.com here and this folder is where you will add in your website files and you can also use app installer so let's go to Subtaculous and if you want to install something like WordPress on your add-on domain you would go here to choose installation URL right here and then select your add-on domain like that and delete this if you want to install in the root folder so let's go ahead and finish this installation okay now it's done installing WordPress on my add-on domain so this means that now uh, my add-on domain folder should be filled with WordPress files and let's click on my add-on domain there it is these are the WordPress files now if I was to access my add-on domain.com up here it will load up the WordPress site but this is not a real domain I haven't actually bought this so it wouldn't show up and I hope you guys understand how add-on domains work now. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below this video. Thanks so much. And be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more internet marketing tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks again, and happy marketing.